Hello and welcome to another Sprues and Brews unboxing. Now you've had a bit of a uh, Kickstarter binge haven't you recently Jay? I've got a problem with Kickstarter, yeah. And um, uh, today's a weird day because two Kickstarters turn up on the same day. Well, is it funny you say that because I had one turn up as well. So uh, Kickstarter's the delivery day before Christmas I'm guessing. Kickstart season, yeah. But this in front of us is Nemesis. Yeah, well, this was when I saw this one. I can't remember how long ago. It's over a year ago, I think, since I backed this one. So Nemesis by Awakened Realms. But at the time, there were no sci-fi dungeon crawlers out, and this was quite unique. I thought so. It really um, piqued my interest. Of course, now we've got Blackstone Fortress. Yeah. Now there's there's a definite kind of alien vibe going on from this already. It, it is pretty much alien the board game. Yeah. Even the baddies in it look like alien. Yeah. I mean, that is really cool. I don't know if you can see there the kind of alien queen looking thing. Yeah, so it, it's a it's a one to five player game. It's semi cooperative, if I, if I remember rightly. So you, you work together to to complete the game, but I think you all have secret agendas, or you know you, you're trying to win well, that's yourself. Cool. Yeah, that's really cool. So should we uh, crack this thing open and see what goodies come inside? In this hefty, hefty tome, and it is has got a fair weight to it, hasn't it? It's a big box, yeah. So if we get in here, try and get in this without destroying your box, Jay. Ooh, there you go. Oh. So Nemesis, if we uh, take this out of the way and we'll have a, a nosy. So this looks like it's got some um, video rules, which is quite handy. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know this. Yeah. So if we quick kind of page through, there's a lot of components in this book. Yeah, there's all cards, tokens, models as well. So a bit of a storyline going on. Lots of parts. It looks like it's a pretty in-depth uh, game. Yeah, so the early reviews I've read of it so far say the rule book is very good. Um, it seems these... to be well laid out in label, yeah, doesn't it? It's a bit hit and miss sometimes with the uh, Kickstarter rule books. Yeah, it all looks very good. Noise roll. So, I mean, well, I I nearly backed this back quite early in the year, wasn't it? Yeah. And I kind of got a bit of a um, Space Hulk vibe from it. Yeah. Yeah, you're on board some sort of spaceship. There's different classes I think you can play, and some of the classes were Kickstarter exclusives. I'm not sure if it is coming to retail or not. It might. Okay. So what else have we got in here? Room sheets. Oh, I guess this tells you what's in each uh, each room that you're venturing through. That's uh. Yeah, you get the the boards made up of these. I think we'll come okay. up to those in a second. The little rooms, little cardboard um, push outs that make up the rooms. So yeah, I mean the components seem pretty. Um, yeah, very good quality. Very good quality as well, and I like the art on all all these kind of things. Like you said, Blackstone Fortress we had recently has a similar kind of like hex. Yeah. Layout to it. These double sided. Okay. I guess that's to kind of randomise them and see. So don't know what tiles yeah, are going down. Yeah, maybe flip them over, perhaps. Yeah. So there's what one, two. Obviously, we've got boards for the um, actual enemies and yeah, stuff as well. Yeah, that's it. Um, one player can take control of the bad guys. Well, I like that. I kind of, I, I do like board games where, I mean, AI kind of mechanics are pretty good if you want to play by yourself. But I think the game's always tougher if you've got, you know, another player playing against another human. Yep. Yeah. Well, you get big, the option in this game, so that's good. Big pile of card components here, isn't there? Yeah. So these are the different classes, and all these: scientist, pilot, mechanic, captain, scout, soldier. Don't know if there's anything on the other side. No. Yeah. These are. Uh... These do look interesting. All your kind of like main archetypes, I suppose, from sci-fi films, which I guess is the vibe of this. Yeah, there were a few extras as well in the Kickstarter campaign, like an android, I think. Okay. And a, and a cat. A cat? Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, okay. Bizarre. I, th oh, okay. I think what this is, is a box to hold all your components. Ah, right, okay. So, you know, we've seen little jiffy bags. They've gone one further. What? And oh, there you go. Hashtag Nemesis... Game box. Take a cool picture of your game box. Bizarre. <laughs> box stand, okay. Look into that. Yeah, that's uh, interesting. So there's a lot, a lot of cardboard components there. We then have what looks like a. a oh, okay, it's got a proper kind of like board to it. Oh, then. I didn't realise this. No, this. I thought, looking at the images, yeah. it looked like it was. Um, so this is the ship. So I guess the whole thing takes place on this ship, and yeah, we're going to all this up here now. But. Um, yeah, There's that's interesting. Room here to put the hexes, then the different rooms. Is it double sided as well? Oh, like yeah, it is, yeah. So I guess you've got the different kind of like layers of the ship and 
they're all numbered. Now I noticed the back of some of those tokens had different numbers on, so maybe there is an element of it being slightly randomised. Yep. Maybe not as randomised as say Blackstone Fortress because you have got a set layout. But then yep. I suppose, as to, arguably, you're doing Blackstone because, <coughs> just on the cards. Yeah. yeah. So that's cool. So that's the main game board. Obviously, we'll probably have a closer look at the kind of rules mechanics as we. Um, well, kind of work it out to play the game and have a few test games of it. Now we're onto the juicy stuff and oh my days, there's some cool looking miniatures in they here. They do look very good, yeah. So if we take this off and we'll have a look here. Now this is interesting. What is this? Ah. Is this some kind of like secret viewfinder? Insert contamination card here. Ah, now this is like in the old, remember the old, um, they weren't fighting fantasy books but you had little accessories that went with them. Infection procedure. If one of the contamination cards you've just scanned was infective, do the following. So that's ah, cool. right, okay. So yeah. So it looks like that like with this little red stuff. filter reveals maybe stuff. I don't know if that's a secret thing that only that player can see. That's quite cool. Yeah. We have got lots and lots <coughs> of tokens and dice and bits and bobs. Yeah. One of the best things about board games yeah, nowadays. Cool, aren't they? Little cogs. Mm. Move there to, uh... Yeah, that's a little cool. I, I do prefer plastic tokens to kind of your cardboard ones that you sometimes yeah, get. Yeah, a lot more durable. So, little, I guess these is something that I think you could need in Blackstone to make things easier. Yep. Little rings to identify which unit's which. Yeah. I think I think that's my only complaint with Blackstone. Sometimes it can get a little confusing, kind of, which units belong to which. Yeah, I've noticed that myself. Uh, definitely needs to put some paint on those squads. Yeah, now in here as well, it looks like we've got a bag. And I don't know if you draw things randomly maybe, or it's just a pretty bag to keep your components in. Perhaps, yeah. That's a nice thing. Uh, we have got are these player stands maybe. Yep. To put all your uh, cards and maybe like your character cards that we saw in the other sheet. Yes, your equipment and whatnot. So if we pop these tokens back in here, and I'm sure they are all labelled, and I'm just going to put them in the wrong bit here and annoy you. We have got some cool miniatures. Now these things. Well, hmm. obviously we both play 40k. He looks a bit gene stealery, doesn't he? He does, yeah. A bit hormigaunty. I'm impressed though, look at the base. Yeah, they're nicely. Uh, nice detail on there. Yeah. Very sharp, aren't they? I mean, some of the models yeah. you get in board games are quite. Mm, not that great quality, but I'm really impressed with them. Yeah, they. Um, I mean, they would pass on a on a Warhammer tabletop, wouldn't they, really? Yeah, they would. They look really good. I'm, uh, I'm impressed with them. Like you say, sometimes you get the kind of like cheap kind of plastic, these feel decent quality. If we get out one of the bigger monstrosities. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. He's really cool, isn't he? Again, he's a little bit lichter, maybe. Yeah. I think there's definitely some influences, but uh, I suppose it's fair to say that the 40k Tyranids were influenced by uh, Alien, and I guess this yep. is probably a bit closer to that than maybe Tyranids, but yeah. And again, with the kind of Sculpted base on these as well. It's really nice detail for you know for a board game. Yeah, I'm impressed. I mean, they're they're some of the the, the best quality miniatures in a board game I've seen. I take it you'll be painting these up, Jay. Oof, yeah, well, add them to the list. <laughs> so they're the, some of the monsters. Uh, we'll have a look at some of the heroes as well. So look at this fella. So he looks like some kind of like robot or someone wearing a mm. spacesuit, maybe. Yeah, engineer or soldier, maybe. Yep. Yeah. He looks cool. That's the kind of helmet you want to wear if there's all face. Now on this it. this reminds me of uh, Alien Resurrection. Oh yeah. Go in a wheelchair there. They're really nice miniatures. And again, these have got the same kind of textured base as well. Really kind of nice for again for a board for for a miniatures game. I expect decent miniatures for for a board game. You can kind of um, yeah. Forgive them the quality of the components, but this is very very nice. He looks like the engineer, I think. Servo ones. Kind of fine details as well. Yeah. For, you know, single piece. I assume they're just plastic plastic models. Uh, but they're very cool. So you get... Take this sheet out. So, a couple of characters here. What's that? Six 
six different heroes that you can be. Ah, uh, right, okay, yeah, so I think there is a, um, a medic in there, which is one of the Kickstarter exclusives. Okay. Then. But yeah, so then there's another layer of stuff in the box. And I always like a board game where you get lots of bits in the box. Now it looks like this second layer has all your cards, and then the bigger... Look at the size of those bags. Alien Gribblies. Oops. This one here. So, we won't go through the card deck too much until we know kind of what what is going on with the game, but really nice art on them. Decent kind of production values, as you'd expect from a yep. you know big budget uh, Kickstarter. Plenty of space in the box to keep your components as well, which is always a good thing. Nothing yep. more infuriating than a game when you get it out and you can't get it back in the box. But I think we need to have a look at these things. Look at that, Jay. Wow. Oh, that's, in that's an incredible sculpt, that. And all the little kind of little broodlings, whatever you want to call them, mm -hmm. scuttling around the base. It's like lifting up the deck of the ship, isn't it? Yeah, that is an impressive model. Um, definitely kind of Alien Queen yep. styled. A little bit of a hive tyrant in there maybe as well. But that is an impressive. I'm guessing this is the kind of the big boss that you're coming up against maybe. Yeah, I think so. I assume so. Yeah, that's a really cool model. And in here we have, oh these are kind of like your, yeah, I suppose xenomorphs aren't they? I wonder if they, I wonder if it is a bit like Alien where they have a bit of a life cycle where the creatures kind of grow into these yeah. horrific creatures. Yeah, so I think we've got, I don't know, these tiny little ones, so they like the little face huggers. Well maybe, maybe. Let's, uh, let's bring that into the camera just to see. Oh yeah, there's a definite... Uh, Face hugger vibe going on here. Yeah, and then they, they seem well, they're to... really cool, aren't they? Yeah, I'm really impressed with them, Jay. And then there's a another sculpt in here, a slightly bigger one, maybe kind of Queen's Guard, maybe to protect the uh, the big queen that we've seen earlier. Yep. Big brutish looking guy again. Nice sculpted bases. Yeah, those bases are very impressive. I am I'm impressed. Normally you just expect, you know, flat, flush bases. Yep. Yeah, these are very, very good. So this is um, Nemesis. Lots and lots of goodies that we get in the core box. However, as you back this on Kickstarter, there was actually something else that you got, wasn't there? Yeah, some bonus content. So do you know what this contains? No, I can't remember. <laughs> So let's move all this stuff out of the way. Oh, it could contain the cat though. The cat? Oh, wow, it's going to have a cat in there, haven't we? I don't uh, know if this is another character or... It, it feels quite weighty. Yeah. So let's open this up and see what, what we get in here. Oh, there's a load of bits. Okay, so inside we get... Oops, crikey. Wow, it's like it's all cards and stuff. So first of all, it looks like we've got some kind of supplement book maybe? Untold Stories number one. So kind of Yeah, like um is it is it a comic or a graphic novel or something like that? I know, it looks like it's Yeah, kind of a graphic novel telling of oh it's got the missions as well. And then kind of a graphic novel telling you what's happening in that mission. Yeah, I wonder if it's like a little mini narrative campaign you That's can really cool. Through. Comic book yeah, we know. Nemesis comic book campaign. Yeah, that's a really nice thing. Very nice touch, that. Yeah, I like, I like cool stuff like that. It's, you know, extras for the kind of Kickstarter backers. So we've got that there. We've got... I'm guessing these are all kind of components for that campaign then. Yep. Um, and this is the kind of game where they could do an expansion down the line as well. We see it quite a lot with Kickstarter. There are a couple of expansions which I didn't pick up in the campaign, which added extra alien races and, okay. and characters. So yeah, whether they come to retail, I'm not sure. Uh, Etherfield's cards. So yeah, this was a recent update they, they announced. This is a special surprise in the box. So this is a new game they're working on. And I think this is just a pack of playing cards with some of the artwork that they're, they're working on. But apparently this is going to be a big project for them. Okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll, we'll cut to these at the end and just have a quick flick through yeah. these and see what we've got. Uh, and then I guess this is, is this the same game? No, this is another game that was, it's launched today. Tainted Grail. And it's a, um, I think it's up to five player survival game. Okay, interesting. Um, uh, this is one I've backed actually. <laughs> well, what we'll do, we'll put a link up to that in the uh, in the video description. That looks very cool, though, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like a medieval grim dark survival game they've built it as. You it do looks... like you, you do like your grim dark, don't you, Jay? Grim dark. I wonder why. 
So yeah, that's that's really cool. And again, this is all. Was this extra to get this, or is this included? No, this in was the, included. Uh, this was the the stretch goals, I think. This is not a bad advert for your next game. A nice art book, isn't no, it? It's a nice quality book as well. It though, is really good. That so, and then is that all the bits in your little bit? There's like a little envelope here. This is a. And this, I imagine this is a thank you for backing, dear backer. Yes. So this is your your thank you letter. Okay, cool. There. But that's quite a little nice uh, assortment of stuff to have. So, so there was no no cat in there. No, unless it's hiding in the box. No cat in there. Unless no it's cat. it could be hidden in the box somewhere. Maybe. It could be. Um, obviously, lots of components. Uh, looks really good from first kind of glance at it all. Yeah, we'll have to get this on the table. Definitely. Um, so we'll be back in two seconds and just have a look at these Etherfields cards before we finish. So inside the uh, the Etherfields box, you get it's I think it's just a deck of cards, Jay. Yeah. But um, again, nice little thing to have to add to your collection. It's like a little uh, advertisement for your next game. Yeah, I, I quite like promo things like that. Yeah, they're really cool. Yeah, they're, yeah. They, apparently, it's it's going to be a big project, and they're working on the artwork at the moment. Okay, that's the reverse. Oh yeah, the reverse these. Are, they were different as well. They're a bit uh, demons of Slaneshi, aren't they? Yeah. And they're really nice. Yeah, that's a cool thing. So yeah, so this came uh, included with the Kickstarter then. Yeah, it, it, this was a, a a surprise. So people are opening the boxes. I think the Kickstarter's just been going out the last couple of weeks people have been getting it and they announced that there was a little surprise in the box awesome cool well that is our unboxing of nemesis and the uh, various extras that came with it i'm sure we'll be having a game of this at some point and when we do we'll uh, we'll join you here on youtube until then see you later